Welcome back to the GEX1. I am the Radio Man 03, and we are playing Minecraft on the Xbox One. Welcome to episode 8. Did you see what I just ran through here? Look at that. No more chests. They are all gone. All cleaned up and the floor in the center, all put together. Looking really good. Huh? Look at all these guys over here. I am just so happy with this part of the uh, the mine down here. Actually, the whole thing is coming together really well. Let's take a walk around, and I will show you what I have been up to in the last few days. Uh, we saw these. There's a little more structure inside here, and we will get to that in a moment. But first, let's go ahead and remind we were working on the storage room last time. Storage area, I guess is what we should call it. Uh, we'll go back upstairs in just a bit and, and show you that up close. But here is what we were working on last time. If this all worked out, our chests are tucked away. Uh, torch is behind most of them right now, and then we'll, we'll switch to the glowstone. We have glowstone behind all of these right here. and looks really sharp, I think. Really sharp. But this room is completed. I added a little more, a couple of stairs here in the corner just to give the room a little more um, shape to it on the edges and the corners. So we have uh, these going on. And uh, I think I put this in too. Not sure. If you've noticed, the glass is pane and block at the same time in sort of a pattern, a nice design. I think that looks cool. It gives it kind of a, a sci-fi look, I think. It's a little something different in the glass. Uh, we do have all our wiring area cleaned up. Looks good. It's all brick. Very nice. This is kind of a trick to get out of, though. <laughs> For some reason, I cannot get that. Anybody could tell me how to get the trap door to sit flush with the ground. That would be great. So I, I don't have to deal with that. I like it when it's flush with the ground. Um, let's go upstairs. Yeah, let's go upstairs. So that's downstairs storage. And uh, here is our upstairs storage. We have a few miscellaneous things. The beds here, our personal chest with our good stuffs here. i uh, got a workbench, of course, because we're working. But only one chest out in the open here as well, and that is our slime ball chest. And as you can see, the armor that I was wearing, it's just about worn out. The boots just broke recently, and so we are completely Marcus Phoenix with no armor today. But we have got a great sword, so we're doing just fine. All right, I hooked these up to a lever instead of... Uh, doing the T flip flop just because there was no really need for it up here I like the idea downstairs but not up on this one so I did it with the uh, just a lever there and then we have a uh, access to our wiring for this area so if we have any problems we can come back and uh, fix these if we need to speaking of which when I put this row in if you'd look here I have slabs right here okay these were full blocks of course at one time when we wired this side the power from these these redstone wires were actually uh, powering this block and then this block behind it and this block right here is above the next row of pistons. So it was uh, throwing them off. So I had to put the slabs in so the connection would not go through the floor blocks. But anyways, it took me a little while to figure that one out. But we worked it out and it works just fine. And boom, we are out. There for a while downstairs, there were a few chests that uh, half did not open. It was really uh, threw me for a loop. Okay, so... Let's take a look at the design we have here. You're going to have to bear with me today. It's probably going to be a shorter episode. I had a wisdom tooth pulled today, so my jaw is sore, but I wanted to get an update out on the GEX-1 to you. Here is what the upstairs minecart area, this is where the minecart is going to roll in and park. So this is kind of our, this is our mine area that we have right here for it. I did manage to get some wood in here. I used the uh, spruce stairs upside down and created these, uh, these really cool grooves. Ooh. Did I hear a zombie? Oh, I do. I do hear a zombie. He's not down here. Oh, you know what? This backs up to a, uh, a cave and ravine, I bet you. I've sealed all this in, so... But there's ravine behind us. It's part of this ravine right here is actually what we've dug into coming back this way. Chest. Um, but, the, yeah, so there's going to be some mobs spawning back there. We have to go back up in there and light that up. But I hope you like the way this looks. This is a stair, and then we have a fence stair fence back and forth and then curved out on the corners here real nice and here we have the stairs right side up upside down nice corner post and then the same thing on this side along with uh, and then we put a torch behind each one of these i would like to eventually put glowstone behind each one of those that would be ideal it would look really good i think and would be very very bright and glow very awesome from across the room better than the torches do and you can kind of see the torches too it doesn't bother me too much but um, i know they're there but that's how that looks i hope you like that it's just stairs and uh, we do have a row of slabs right here 
underneath. It's kind of a, it's made up of, uh, I guess, three different pieces. There's brick, slab, stair. And then down here, we just have a stair, upside down stair, meeting up with it. And there's an upside down stair right here as well. But yeah, it, uh, it really turned out great. I really like it. Okay, so our supplies that we get from the branch mine, which of course is down here. We have the, our entrance way out here as well. We built that together. Um, boom, carts come up here. We unload them. And this is our cobble and stone room and our furnace area. <laughs> I put this together uh, last night. I worked on it, but it really turned out great. I love how this room looks. It's really simple. It is cobble and it is stone, baby cobble and stone we still have uh, a couple chests of stone up top to bring down that's what we have left down here right now as well as uh, there's two cobblestone chests uh, in downstairs storage and then we have all of our cobble up in here and I figure if we have run out leftover cobble we can uh, we still have what three and a half chests here to fill we can overflow the cobble onto this side because I'll never cook as much stone as we will have cobble but anyways this is our cobble room and our stone room. And let me show you the furnace area. Furnace area, I put the nether rack down here and set it on fire with glass on top. And uh, just a real simple furnace room. Speaking of which, it's fired up. Yeah, so uh, I hope you like that. Real simple. This is uh, stairs, upside down stairs. And if you put them on a tight corner like this, they really make a cool edge. They really make an awesome edge. I like how they look. And... Uh, they come together really nice, especially when you get down to here. You see how that uh, squares that off like that? It's really, uh, really cool. I like that a lot. And then we did the same kind of ceiling as we have out in the main, uh, the main mine room there. The carts where they drop off. We did the same kind of ceiling here. I like the shadows. It gives the room, it gives the room some depth, I think. So yeah, we've got a few shadows here and there, but I'm okay with those. They, they look okay to me. Uh, the entranceway I've not finished up yet. Do I have any stairs on me? I do not have any stairs on me, but we could make a few. I wanted to try, let me, let's try something out real fast. I had this idea last night. I just got so uh, tired that I decided to uh, call it, call it a night. I had forgotten that I was looking at uh, getting ready to do that area right here. Uh, let's see here. I want to bring this down to here, I think, is how far we want to go with that. Yeah, that's, a, that's all the far that we want to go with this. So if we take these and do like that and like that. You see that corner, how that makes that corner? That is really awesome. I love that corner. And that and that. And then these are going to be just uh, brick, just plain old brick. Yeah, I think that's going to work out great. And bump and bump like so. See how much more room it actually makes you feel like you have instead of the wall being here. You now have this entire center area that it just makes the rooms look, I think, wider. It really helps a lot. And I did, it, I did two rows of it in here, and I think that really turned out great. All the chests you can still open, even though, because we have the uh, upside down stairs above them, so they work just fine. But uh, yeah, I hope you like the uh, cobblestone stone room of the GEX1. This is where we do our smelting, baby. This is where we, we cook up the goods that we bring in off the rail. Now, speaking of the rail, let's go put this stuff up. Speaking of the rail, let's, uh, hmm, which way do we want to go? Oh, well, let's go, uh, let's go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. We'll go through the main entrance here. All right, so here you can see we have a way now that we can walk up in here. We'll go up this way. We go up into the mine. The mine's smelting area. We come down here, and here's our branch mine. This is where we're going to branch mine the whole way down this way, right? Because that, we hope, will bring us lots and lots of emeralds. This is where our train cart will ride on, and here's the design I did here. Similar to the ceiling up there, we got the stair, except it's right side up, and then uh, fence, stair, fence, with a slab across the top, and then a slab across the front. And it really gives it a cool kind of... Uh, it's just a nice grid work. I mean, look at that. Those shadows in there are really awesome. I love that. And we have this to step up on so we can access our carts while we're mining. While we're doing our tunnel, we come out here. We'll just walk up here, access the carts, put our goods in, and boom, back to work we go. And then we can have those take back, uh, well, we can fill two, we'll fill two small chests and then our own inventory. And that's always been plenty for us to be able to continue on projects. But this is the, uh, this is the mine. This is where we're going to be doing our branch mining right here. Those slimes are actually the ones that are out here. 
<laughs> we got so many slimes. I can't wait to get that thing up and running so we can actually just cook them off. And there's there's so many slimes. So as I mentioned, we'll, we'll continue this out too. We're going to have to come up with a design for this tunnel. I think we'll build the design of this together and we'll get this tunnel all worked out inside and what it's going to look like. And then this one will mimic, uh, we'll mimic this one. Oops, this didn't open up over here on this one here. And we'll make them similar. I do want to do the, the, the lighting down the uh, middle of the sides here. I want those redstone lamps to turn on as we go down. I want that to still happen. I think that would look really cool as we come through the door. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll make these two tunnels sort of uniform. Sort of uniform, I guess. Yeah, so uh, we're coming along really great. I think we're coming along really, really well. Let's take you back upstairs again. We'll show you. This is going to be so handy because we've got so many ways now to get up on the second floor. These are pretty much staircases right here. And now we're on second floor. We're easy access to the smelting area. You know, we have access to our... Uh, that, that adds a lot, I think, uh, to sort of the space station feel. Just these steel doors that are sitting here that, you know, you really don't access much. But if you have to, it's there, doggone it. It's there. These look great. I love I love how these uh, these have turned out. Our little storage area. That's nice. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let me show you one other thing. And then uh, I think we're going to... I'm going to call it a video after this. But uh, here's another update for you. I think we were, we were talking about entrances and I, I've really had my, my head set that this was going to be the entrance to the mine. That this is how we were going to get up and down uh, into the mine. But my plan is really to fill that in with glass and then have, have the swamp back over the top of it. And then the building is going to extend up and out of here. And then we can, uh, you know, add some vines and, and mossy and things like that and make it look like the building has been standing out in this water for a long time. Instead, I think what I want to do is, and if you look, it's not too far away really, but it would make for a neat little pod. I think I want our entrance to the mine to be there. I think what I want to do is I want to put it in there and we're going to do a water vader up to the top and maybe a water drop as well. So we just run up and drop down and then take an a water vader up. But we'll come in through here and there'll be like a, an outpost window type platform here that we'll come out on and we'll be able to look down over the mine from up there. I think it would actually serve our purposes really well. And then once we bring this building up and out of here, uh, we'll be able to um, run a little pod off of it to here and that'll be the access to the mine. I'm starting to have some uh, second thoughts about kind of my initial plan. Maybe I could share those too. I, at first I was thinking two buildings. Let's get the map out real quick. I was thinking two buildings. You can see we have our building right there. There's our right there at the, the back end of my little white uh, teardrop up there. That's us right now. And then the lagoon to the left, I was going to put our, our main GE. Part of me has been thinking a little bit about making this whole thing the GEX one and just continue going up with this and making it larger and larger and larger. But trying to stop the slimes from spawning up here. So I was slapping the area. It's kind of working. Kind of, but you know, the place is huge, so they're, they're just everywhere. They are everywhere. So, kind of the idea is that we have this, okay? And, and then this, maybe right in this area here, we go straight up. Okay, so we ride our water vader down, we get off, we come over here, boom. And we, we have this, our mine to overlook. That's, that's pretty cool. And maybe a nice staircase that comes down off of this that we will take down to get into uh, mine. But I thought, yeah, like, like a little checkpoint area, you know? You, you check in first before you'd be allowed to come down in here. So that'll be that'll be what that'll be up there. We'll put our elevator and stuff to get down here. And then with this, I'm just going to remove it. I'm going to just tear this thing right out of here. Carpet the floor, and it's going to be just a nice, great, big, giant central area. Our slime farm is coming up very soon. We'll get that built. And, uh, you know, the enchantment area over here. And then the zombie spawner, and we have the spider and the uh, skeleton spawner down that hallway. So, man, I think I think this is coming together really kind of fast, really fast. And to be honest with you, we have so many supplies that I can actually afford to build for quite some time. I mean, the iron looks great. We have gold for power rails. Redstone. Redstone's actually getting a little low. We'll probably run a couple more branch mines here soon. Then we have, uh, I've turned a bunch of stone block into brick and slabs. Here is all stone. 
here is all stone. So there's that's three chests of stone right now what we have down here, plus another two up above. Uh, miscellaneous, mostly wood and wool, and I put the flint in here because I didn't know where else to put it. And then we have just kind of random stuff in here. I should put the carpet actually in here. But uh, yeah, so we're supply-wise, we have so much. We have so much cobble that we could turn into stone. The thing is, we're running low on coal, so that is um, that's kind of holding us back a little bit. We'll have to uh, definitely do some coal holding and get the coal built up. All right, wow. I think it's coming along really well. I'm really having a great time building it. I, I'm, uh, thank you for the feedback. You guys have been great giving me feedback on the episodes and stuff. So awesome. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so I hope you like it. I hope you like how uh, the GEX-1 is coming along. The mine is looking pretty sweet. And if we do decide to go straight up out of here, we could build a farm chunk. We'll build uh, you know, lookout area. We have to build our own area, right? We don't even have a miner's quarters right now. And I think Miner's Quarters is going to be part of, a, uh, part of the entranceway over there. I think that's a good idea. I think it's a good plan. So, anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Thank you so much. And I will talk to you again next time.